Our British friends have expressed their view by universal suffrage and obviously the majority view of uh, the British people demands respect. Democracy is democracy and we must respect it. We must respect British democracy and the way it has voiced its view. That's the last time you are applauding here. <laughs> and to some extent, I'm really surprised that you are here. You are fighting for the exit. The British people voted in favor of the exit. Why are you here? So, universal suffrage has uh, been exercised in, in the United Kingdom and we must respect the outcome. Now, I don't dare say I'm a friend of democracy because it means I need to somehow prove it, but at the end of the day what we've got to do is respect the will of the British people. Now, they've expressed their, their view, now there have got to be consequences. Something has to happen. First of all, I would ask for some clarification, not necessarily immediately, because the British system is far more complicated. We think there's a vote, now there's hesitation. Lord Hill, my friend and brother, has drawn his consequence. He's a real Democrat. And I would like others uh, to also draw conclusions from the vote in the United Kingdom. I've heard, I've read that the President of Parliament, that the uh, President of the Parliamentary Groups, with some exceptions, have reacted in a somewhat emotional fashion to the results of the British vote. Yes. Europe isn't exclusively a cerebral affair. Obviously, we've got to think, but equally, when you're sad, it's, oh, it's acceptable to be sad. And I am sad after this vote in the UK, and I'd make no secret of it. How can I put this? It's not mawkishness. It's a professional conviction. I really would have liked the United Kingdom to remain by our side with us, but the decision was different, and we must, of course, draw the conclusions. I would call on the government of the United Kingdom, and I'll be speaking to the Prime Minister later this morning, who is still a friend, because despite the vote, the British remain our friends. In any event, I shall ask the Prime Minister to clarify the situation as soon as possible. We cannot be embroiled in lasting uncertainty.